Hello there fellow film collectors. In this video not only do I have some exciting Criterion films to talk to you about, I also have details of a giveaway where three lucky people are going to win either a Blu-ray or a 4K Blu-ray import from Boutique Home Video. So for people in the UK and Europe I'm going to have some details for you later in the video for how you can enter for free the chance to win one of these Blu-rays. So what Criterion films have I added to my collection lately that I have been enjoying? Well, let's start with this one, Lost Highway. This is the 4K UHD disc from Criterion. And I had a great time with this. I had never seen this one in full. And yeah, this is a David Lynch film. The kind of things that you would expect from him are present in this film. Very much ties in with Mulholland Drive, and Inland Empire. The 4K disc is phenomenal though, a great release from Criterion. It's a shame that this disc isn't more accessible, that it doesn't have a release over here, but you can of course buy the import from Boutique Home Video and being a 4K disc, it will play on any player. There's also a great documentary in the special features on this about David Lynch's films that was made as they were filming Lost Highway. It's so great to have this and we are getting closer to having David Lynch's entire filmography in the Criterion Collection. There are even rumours right now that Twin Peaks and Twin Peaks The Return will be coming in some massive box set. I don't know if those rumours are true. Apparently Mark Frost liked some tweet where someone was speculating about it. But just imagine if that would turn out to be true, that would be absolutely phenomenal. But for now, we have Lost Highway on 4K. This is a great disc. Next, a film that I had not seen in almost 10 years. It's Inside Lewin Davis, the film from the Coen brothers. No relation to me, sadly, I wish. This film is absolutely phenomenal and one that does not get discussed when people are talking about the greatest Coen brothers films. I think it is absolutely one of their best. And when you look at this film, it does show their range as filmmakers. If you put this next to The Big Lebowski and The No Country for Old Men, you've got three films that are almost completely different, but are from these filmmakers who have such a distinct voice that is present in all of their films. This one is about the Greenwich Village folk scene, and we follow Oscar Isaac's character as he struggles with you know, getting on in life, trying to find some sort of success in the music scene. It's a film that feels very much like um, a James Joyce novel, if anyone is familiar. And the film does have a sort of circular nature to it. So I find it a great film, so well made, great music, and it has that philosophical strand running throughout it. This disc is quite old at this point, seven years old but it is from a 4K transfer, so it still looks very good. I would love to see a 4K disc one day. Maybe that will happen. I think there's a lot more Coen Brothers films which will get that treatment before this one does. This next one I absolutely had to import because you can't get these films on Blu-ray in this country. It's the Michael Haneke trilogy. Three films, three early films from his career that are dealing with the kind of things that he would deal with throughout his career, tackling existentialism, the relationship between us and the media that we consume, violence. Um, and these are questions that are always relevant. Right now in the news, you can find stories that are questioning the nature of violence and people that carry out violent acts and what gets them to that point. These films can be quite disturbing and horrific. While not horror films, there are those elements that can make you very uncomfortable. If you have seen any of his later work, which went on to win lots of awards, you know, The White Ribbon, um, Caché, Amour, all of these films, it's well worth going back to where he sort of began in feature filmmaking. And this set from Criterion is great value. You get three films in there and a ton of special features. This has been one of the best discoveries for me in a long time. Now let's talk about that giveaway, which is free to enter for anyone in the UK and Europe. All you have to do is go over to Boutique Home Video, and I will include links in the description of this video. 
head over to their website and just sign up to their website. You don't have to buy anything. You just have to register, fill in this quick form, and that's it. You'll receive an email from them once you have signed up. That means you're in for the giveaway, which closes this time next week. So October 16th, is when the giveaway closes. And three lucky winners will win a 4K or a Blu-ray from Boutique Home Video's selection. So if you're eligible, go over and enter. You might as well, you may end up winning a free Blu-ray. But while you're there, it's worth checking out the selection of films that they have on their website. So many great 4K discs. I've been enjoying a lot of the 4K Kino Lorber discs. Great releases of 12 Angry Men, Serpico, Nobody's Fool, so many great ones. And you can even see some of the ones they have for pre-order coming out soon. I can't wait for ones like Thunderbolt and Lightfoot and The Train. Just so many great films on 4K, which unfortunately are not available in the UK. It's also very easy to use their search function on their website. You could search a filmmaker like Kurosawa or Scorsese and you can see all of the different films available from those filmmakers. So that was just a quick look at some Criterion discs that I picked up from Boutique Home Video and some information on that giveaway. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more about the Criterion collection, then click the video that's presented on screen right now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.